Hi there, I'm Anthony Forsberg. These are my rainbow vignettes. Uh, we have six different vignettes. Each one has a different theme color and a different little theme that they're built around. So we have a red castle, orange western, yellow farm, green space, blue pirate, and purple underwater, I don't know, aqua raiders-y thing. So, let's start with the red castle here. This was the first one that I built. I brought this to Bricks by the Bay, I think it was two years ago, maybe three years ago. Yeah, I think it was three years ago. And it won best little thing in the castle category then. And it was a really successful model, and that's what uh, inspired me to build the whole series. This one, uh, it was actually displayed in the Innovation House in Bill in Denmark for a while, and I was really proud of that. Um, one of my favorite techniques used in here is the there's these columns in here that are rotated 45 degrees, and you get that by using the one by two bricks with a ridge in the center that are used for the garage doors, you know. And then this here is a western build. This actually used to look a lot different. It didn't have the smoke signal, didn't have the covered wagon, and I didn't like the way it looked, so I changed it up a bit. And I'm much more proud of uh, what it looks like now. I put a lot of work into having the layered bricks here, including these shiny golden bricks in this layer, because I wanted it to look like a true, um, like uh, a butte that you'd find maybe in Utah or so. This farm here, uh, I'm, I like this, the wheat field here. I was actually inspired to do this. I found a, a brick wall building technique where these all these clips built into um, uh, one by one plates like packed really tightly together. And I use a very similar technique in order to get these rods so close to one another. This tractor also I'm proud of. I actually used this in the Wacky Racers competition this year. And if you look at this one, my space model, uh, I tried to use a lot of nice parts usage. So this is an official Lego bag that parts were in when I opened it. I actually don't remember what set it's from. Probably a modular building. I have, oops, I have a, an alien autopsy going on in here. And on the side, that's an official motor. Uh, it doesn't do anything functional. It just looks pretty cool. And back here, this is a Lego education solar panel that I just had to work in. And that's a real brick separator right there. Alright, and if we look over on this side, we have my pirate model. This is the second one I built. And I put a lot of work into making things look all ramshackle in this one. So we have all these cloth pieces are from uh, the, the cars that they've had over the past few years. This one's from the camper van. This one, I believe, is from the uh, Mini Cooper. We have some, some crops from the New World, some fish, some pineapples in here. And everything's being shipped in and out of this place. I originally built some interchangeable flags, like a French flag, a Portuguese flag, a Spanish flag, that you could swap out for the, the British flag, but I didn't bring those this year. If you look on the back side, you got all these bricks. I just grabbed any gray bricks I could find and stuck them to together however they could fit. And finally, we have our underwater model, which broke a little bit while I was showing you a previous one. There we go. So this one is my most recent one. I finished it just a couple days ago. Uh, we have a little treasure trove inside of here, a mermaid. I really like all this, this kelp here. These thick pieces are actually alligator tails. And uh, some ruins here. And this is my other favorite part of the model. All the coral at the top. These are street sweepers here, an exo force hair. These are cherries. And we have fezzes stacked on top of one another. Should look more like that. And a mop head right there. It's a turban, some marge hair pieces, some ribbons, a mohawk, a little alien brain. And of course, a, a diver running away from a shark. So you gotta have a little bit of drama in each thing, you know?
Anyway, if you want to see more of my creations, you can check out my Flickr page. That is at, uh, at Legonizer, I believe it is. Or you can look up my name, Anthony Forsberg.